Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at my recent Blu-ray pickups. I did not get any new releases this week. Uh, there was really nothing that attracted my interest. So what I did is I went to my local used video game store and went through the used uh, Blu-rays they have there because they have Blu-rays and DVDs available for sale as well as all the used, ga used video games and game consoles and those kind of paraphernalia. Um, it's a good resource if you have a, a store like that nearby you because sometimes you can sometimes you can find some good things. One man's trash is another man's treasure as they say. For me as you can see, I'm starting with Steven Seagal. I got some Steven Seagal films, uh, so don't judge me. Uh, I like Seagal. He, he cracks me up. I, I, I know these movies are supposed to be serious, but to me, they're, they're absolute comedy. So, you know what? Let Steven Seagal kick butt, take names, do whatever he's got to do, because I get a kick out of it. So, so there, I, I enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, that's fine too, but let me enjoy my stuff. Next one is another Seagal movie, Code of Honor. I haven't seen this one. Looked kind of cool, so I thought I'd pick that up. Next one is The French Connection, starring Gene Hackman. Uh, this is the original Blu-ray release. It's not the, the newer one that came out later. I think it was available at Best Buy. Anyway, it was cheap. I like the French Connections, classics, um, movie and cinema history. Uh, it's good to add to my collection. I also got the French Connection 2, the sequel. This one was actually brand new, still sealed. Uh, whoever sold this, traded in, whatever, uh, did apparently didn't want it because it wasn't even open. So it was nice to get a brand new copy. And another Steven Seagal movie, uh, End of a Gun. Hopefully this is a good one, too. I haven't seen this one. There, there are several of his that I haven't seen, but I can watch them sight unseen because, honestly, they're all kind of the same. But, uh, like I said, I get a kick out of them. I also picked up the two uh, Sister Street Fighter movies. This is a... a Japanese release, well, it's an American release, but it's of two Japanese movies. Uh, Sister Street Fighter, I believe, came out in the 70s, and it was uncommon because you had a female protagonist who was the martial arts expert, and I don't think that was very common at the time. So, again, good martial arts movie. But you've got to like watching subtitles or reading subtitles because you're going to have to for this one. Next one, also Japanese and anime. Uh, this is noir. Uh, this is a, an action adventure anime. Uh, shoot 'em ups, gunplay, all that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a good anime. Uh, it's not one you have to worry about. It's not overly grotesque or overly violent or anything like that so you got to be careful with the anime you got to know what you're getting into but this is a good one steven seagal strikes again in mercenary for justice and that's all i think i need to say about that he's a mercenary for justice the next one are two movies that i got bounty hunters one and two uh these are rare out of print, I, I believe, at least this one is. I know this one is hard to get. Um, this one, I think, goes for stupid prices on Amazon. So if you can find one out in the wild, definitely pick it up because it's a good one. I like Michael Dudikoff. Uh, he used to be the American Ninja in the American Ninja movies, so he's cool. And I wanted to pick those two up and, and especially get this one while I could. This one is a John Woo film, The Killer. It's a classic action movie from John. Uh, if you've seen any of John Woo's movies uh, in, in, that he's done in Hollywood, 
you'll like this one. Uh, it's just completely wall to wall action. A lot of, a lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of, uh, gunplay and just, I, I would call it poetic violence. Uh, John Woo's uh, signature is filming uh, any violence on screen in a very poetic manner, so I, I, I like that. And here we have another Steven Seagal movie. This is the last one I picked up, The Perfect Weapon. I have another movie called The Perfect Weapon, Weapon starring Jeff Speakman, who's a, a karate expert. Uh, this one is Steven Seagal's The Perfect Weapon, but I don't think it has any relationship to Jeff's movie. The next one I have is Firepower. Uh, this is an older movie from uh, 1979, stars Sophia Loren, O.J. Simpson, and um, James Coburn. James Coburn's here on the front cover. This was actually supposed to be a Charles Bronson movie. Charles Bronson was supposed to be James Coburn's character, uh, but for whatever reason, it, it fell through, didn't work, they couldn't get him. So James Coburn got the part. And last but not least, this is Race for the Yankee Zephyr. Uh, this movie came out in 1981, starring Ken Wall and Leslie Ann Warren. Uh, I like both of those actors. Uh, this one is an adventure story. It takes place in New Zealand. Uh, some cool helicopter action in this. Uh, when I saw it, I wanted to get a, a copy of it before it, it, this one went out of print. So it's, but it's still available. You can still get it. But but I always get afraid some of these titles uh, disappear without warning. So get this one if you can. If you like a good adventure movie, this is the last of my pickups. I appreciate you watching. Let me know if you guys picked up anything this week. Uh, did you pick up any new releases or did you go through the bargain bin or did you do like I did and go to your local uh, used Blu-ray and DVD store? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.